I have a, a younger brother who's about two and a half years younger than me who, when he was about nine months old, uh, caught a pretty bad viral, respiratory viral infection. That resulted in him having to be emergently admitted and transported into the intensive care unit where he ended up spending the next several months on a ventilator. He wound up having profound brain injury as a result of that, which resulted in both epilepsy for him, uh, significant developmental delays, and what I later come to understand was really functional you know, or clinical autism. And so I kind of grew up in, the, in a household where everybody was a care provider, and that, I think, was kind of the bug of going into healthcare. Uh, for me, and in particular, uh, my interest in kind of like how the brain works and how development works. Here at Arkansas Children's Hospital, we provide uh, neurology services to children with any neurological problem you can imagine, whether it's a question of seizure disorders, movement problems, developmental disorders, headaches, uh, neuromuscular disorders, you name it. And we do it uh, essentially from A to Z, from just basic assessment all the way to very complex care. We are continuing to grow and develop within our, our section. Uh, we have recently acquired magnetoencephalography, which is for short referred to as MEG, M-E-G. We have uh, neuronavigated transcranial magnetic stimulation, or, or TMS. Um, these are corollary technologies, but the premise behind them is that they painlessly, non-invasively map brain functions. And then we can use this information uh, to help us build out how we're going to treat that patient, whether it's with just medications or surgery or combinations thereof. We are dedicated to the well-being of not only children, but doing everything we can to maximize their long-term developmental outcomes. I had a, a story not that long ago where a child, well, an adult actually, had reached out and he said, you know, I'm not having any problems or anything, but I just want to let Dr. Perkins know that I was able to go out and get my driver's license and I'm now driving a car, you know, and I thought, oh man, that is so awesome, you know, like that's, that's living your best life and that for me is worth everything in the world.